Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to work on number 10 on the Elementary 53 Math MTEL. These videos and the workshop, they're all tied together in hopes to get teachers ready to take their Math MTEL exams. So if you like this video, you should watch more. And if you need some extra help, an extra push on the Math MTELs, you should try and attend one of the MTEL Math workshops um, in Massachusetts. But let's focus on this problem. First thing I want to do is I want to read over the problem and take in the information that's there. So number 10, what is the value of the expression? And it gives me this lengthy expression with lots of operations. And it's expecting me to solve it and come up with an actual answer. This is very similar to the last problem that we had, which involved PEMDAS. This does involve PEMDAS, but it also involves a couple of other things too. But let's review what PEMDAS is. PEMDAS, when we think about it, that's a P, by the way. We're always, in order of operations, mm -hmm. we're always going to be doing parentheses and exponents first. Whatever in the parentheses we would do, and if there was an exponent here, we'd do the parentheses, whatever 3 minus 14 is, and then we'd raise that to the second power. There's no exponents here, so we don't have to worry about exponents. Then we'd go on to multiplication and division. So once we figure out what 3 minus 14 is, then we're going to do the subtraction or the multiplication. Well, PEMDAS says we do the multiplication. So then we do that. And then it comes down to addition and subtraction. Um, and that's where we would do the multiplication first, and then we do the subtraction. Now, there's a division problem here. That's going to require us to answer the top and get an answer, a full answer for the top and a full answer for the bottom, and then at the very end do the division of the top and bottom. So let's start this problem. 3 minus 14. That gets me a negative 11. So how could I double check that? I could think that I'm at negative uh, 14 on the number line, right? And what happens when I go back in a positive direction three spaces? That would be negative 13, negative uh, 12, and negative 11. And you know what? Don't be afraid to do the, the number line thing if you struggle with this. You might want to practice that. All right, so we got a negative 11 here. Now am I going to do a subtraction or multiplication? Because PEMDAS, I'm going to do multiplication. Negative 11 times a negative 2. Well, this is a negative and this is a negative. So I got to remember to, when I have a negative times a negative, it's going to get me a positive. So this is going to be a positive 22. So now I have 7 minus 22. All right, so what does that get me? 7 minus 22 gets me negative 15. So this top area of the problem is 15, a negative 15. So we got negative 15 on the top. What do we got on the bottom? 8 minus 12. All right, negative 4. Minus 2 minus 5, negative 3. We got a negative, the opposite of a negative is a positive. So we're really doing negative 4 plus 3. What do we get? Negative 1. Now this is where we finally do our division. Negative 15 minus negative 1. Well, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So negative 15 divided by negative 1 is 15. Now the other aspect of this problem, and I think you're seeing this right now, is what happens when you do a negative divided by a negative? Well, you get a positive. What happens when you do a negative times a negative? You get a positive. What happens when you minus a negative number? You get a, a positive. They're going over uh, the sign rules. The problems are completely designed for you to fall into traps where you're going to get the wrong answer. All right, take care team, bye-bye. Hi team, I wanted to uh, encourage everyone if you have time to check out one of the MTEL Math workshops. This is a great time to make new connections in the math. It's two days, one or two day workshop. Uh, you can go to GoMath and find out more information. Take care, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.